Okay, changes to attentional focus in relation to arousal. So during heightened states of arousal, the attentional field, which focuses attention and concentration, becomes narrowed. Okay, so this means that you're uh, that the more aroused you become, the lower number of relevant cues you can concentrate on. Um, for example, if you're playing football, um, when at the optimal state of arousal, a centre midfielder may be able to focus on the opposing player in possession, as well as uh, the position in the field, um, as well as the positions of others uh, on the field. And during heightened states of arousal, that centre midfielder may be able to focus on only on the uh, the opposition player because they, the more aroused you become, the more narrowed your attention becomes. Okay, And they begin to start to disregard other things like people around them. For example, uh, when when Gerard uh, made that back pass to uh, David James, I think it was in the World Cup, he forgot his attention, his, his arousal was high uh, because it was in the latter part of the game. He made the back pass, but he wasn't aware of Henri running through in behind him to get onto his back pass. Just as heightened states of arousal can narrow the, the player's attention, it can also broaden it to the point where performance is decreased. So, for example, uh, what might happen is that a player might start concentrating on other irrelevant information around them, such as the crowds, the noise, uh, the manager shouting them on the sideline, um, and that can distract their attention away from their performance. So their arousals increased and had a negative impact on their performance because they're not able to focus their attention on where they should be focusing on because it's broadened thus having a negative impact on their performance.